Hello, Nuggets. Uh, okay, I think I'm just avoiding writing by doing these videos, but fuck it, I started it. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about writing groups. So I'm, I've been anti-writing group for, not anti. <laughs> anti sounds like I'm an activist. I'm not an activist against writing groups. I just, I don't think they've worked for me or I I've, haven't had a desire to do one, uh, ever. But recently with the pilot that Laura and I put together, um, she's trying to, we're trying to find new groups, new networks um, to socialize within and, and basically open some doors and see what's inside. Maybe something that will help us develop this pilot into an actual uh, project, you know, someone, maybe someone that has money or someone who has an idea, hey, this is how you do it, you know. Um, so she, in pursuit of that, joined this group called Second Draft, I've mentioned it on a video, which is for writers and actors Writers bring material, actors cold read it, and then you move on to the next, and that's it. It's fantastic. It's great. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's nice to get your work out there, to get it seen, to get over those nerves, or, the, or you know, develop the the skills to be able to deal with other people reading it and showing it and saying, "This is what I'm doing." You know, uh, like it or not, this is what I'm doing. Uh, so I really enjoyed it, but it was missing a few things. Now I went with Laura because that's how I learn new things in my life. I basically wait for Laura to just say, we're doing this, and then I follow. And then I will go off my own path, but, you know, she opens doors for both of us. Uh, she opens them for herself, and I walk through it with her. So um, so I went to Second Draft, I enjoyed it, and it made me think, what's missing? What, can, what, what would I like to see in a writer's group? It's not missing from Second Draft, just to be clear. They're, they're choosing to do it their particular way because it works really well, and they've been around a long time, so they know what they're doing. And it's well run, and the, the, the two women who, who pick the material are really good. There's a guy who helps run it as well, or does run it, I don't know. Overall, it's fantastic. But it's missing some stuff for me. So I'm, start, I'm thinking of starting a new writer's group, I'm calling it Writer versus Writer. It doesn't matter what it's called, but I need titles. They help me. When I write a screenplay or a play or whatever, one of the first things I pick is the title, which will then change. But it's like a pin in the map for any idea. If I have a thing, a name, I can call it. This probably comes from being a des video game designer for so many years. If it has a name that I can attach to it, now everyone who talks about it can focus on it. It just helps my brain. So it's called Writer versus Writer. One of the problems with writing groups is that you submit stuff, people read it, and then you know, something happens with it. Either it's just read out or or you have critique on it, stuff like that. But the submission part of it is what has, I think, made me nervous because when you write during the week, you're writing for yourself, right? There's no expectations. You set your own deadline. There's no stress from outside. It's just you sitting there writing. Any stress is your own feeling uh, of inadequacy. When, you work, when you're working in a writer's group and you have to submit ahead of time, now you're kind of balancing these two things and writing to that goal. And it may not be the best goal overall. So I've always hated the idea of having to submit material. Now, walking into a writer's group with material, I think is fine because you can decide an hour before you go what you're going to take along. And then you've written without thinking about it all week, and then you have this momentary meeting, this one evening, where you get together and meet, and you now, and this is literally hot off the press, you know. I like that idea. So thinking about the format for the writers group, I'm thinking that's what I'll want to do, right? I will get together, see I've made some notes, that's why I'm looking down here. Um, probably four to six writers, and each writer will get 30 minutes of time focused on what they do, focus, group focus on them. And in that time, the first 15 minutes maximum will be reading their stuff. So they'll bring stuff, if they're writing a story, a novel or a short story, they need to bring a maximum of 15 minutes worth of reading, hopefully a little bit less, but a maximum of 15. If it's a screenplay, 15 minutes worth of reading. Whatever it is, we're gonna read it 15, for 15 minutes. We're then gonna get back together for 15 minutes and critique. And during the critique, the writer, it's more, it's maybe a bit of a QA, and a but the writer's not defending the work, because that doesn't help. Not trying to explain. You want people to just give you their opinion. Now maybe clarify a few things. Maybe the writer, the, the, the critiquer can say, why were you doing this? And the writer will explain, but not defend the work, right? So it wouldn't be about that. And critique is not always bad. Critique obviously doesn't just mean, this is what I didn't like. 
it's hopefully a lot of this is what I did like. I loved this bit and here's why I loved it, you know. Um, but there'll be 15 minutes of reading, 15 minutes of critique. And because you don't submit the material before, because you just bring it with you and then hand it out, I feel that the feedback you're going to get is actually closer to the feedback you will get for your intended audience. If it's a screenplay, it will be either the moviegoers or it will be the person reading the script to try and give you money or your agent or your whatever, you know, or the actors. Um, you won't have time to prepare them, to give them information. You just give them the script. Or you give them the story. You give them the book. And they read it and they form an opinion. So not submitting it, I think, really helps that. What's wrong, Iggy? Come here, boy. Whining. So I like the idea of doing that. I like it being cold, right? 15 minutes for reading, 15 minutes for critique, and then we move on to the next writer. So if we have four writers, it will take two hours. Six writers, it will take three hours. I'm thinking four to six writers is probably the max. Um, and I also like the idea that it's a little bit more relaxed because I don't think people can concentrate for three hours, right? They drift in and out. But I think they can concentrate in 15-minute increments. So when you're reading someone else's work, preparing to go back in and give notes, you can spend that 15 minutes how you like. Right? You can relax, you can get a coffee, go and have a smoke if you're a smoker, or you can just go find a corner, you can do whatever you want just to kind of escape and just read and relax and feel no pressure, there's no group um, watching you, you're just doing your thing, and then everyone gets back together for 15 minutes and talks about the work, and then the next one's handed out, the writer goes, here you go, here's your copies, everyone go away and read. To me it sounds like actually a very enjoyable night, right? Uh, there would be a strict no distraction policy, so no phones, as in phones are off, like a flight, like literally, because I hate the fucking phone, um, just off, right? If you're here, you're here, and we're here to discuss writing. Uh, I think that would be important. Hard copies only, right? I mean, that's obviously essential because we're not submitting, but just to be clear, paper on the page, there is a feeling of progression. It's different. It's not the same as swiping on a Kindle, you know? When you turn a page over, you feel like you're moving something. There's a, there's a tactile feel, and it's visceral when you're reading. And I think it engages you in the work much more than it does when you're reading it on a tablet, for me personally. So there would be uh, hard copies, no phones, no submissions before the night. Everything is cold read. Uh, and the Q&A, the 15 minutes afterwards, the critique is not the writer defending their work. It's just receiving feedback, good and bad. And answering questions, it's a Q&A as well. They can say, this is why I did this, or, well, maybe they can. Or they can explain something that wasn't clear in the writing so that the feedback can be, okay, well, I didn't get that, <laughs> so you should go write that again and, and fix it. So I'm thinking of doing it weekly. Uh, I have a few writers. Laura has a few writers in her groups. Um, they're the two writers she has in her groups are both women, which I really like the idea of because, as I've said before, I much prefer working with women. I just find it more, I just find it more creative, and more enjoyable. I really do. Just uh, I prefer the notes. I think they're more direct and they're, they're delivered more gently, more lovingly, and that really helps nurturing. You know, uh, as long as the the writing the notes are direct, which you know, like this isn't good. This is why. I love you, but this is why. <laughs> I'm a gentle soul. So, um, and then there's um, a couple of male writers who might want to get involved that I've got to look at. Um, but I'm thinking of starting this thing. I've got to decide whether it's part of Laura's arena. She does this thing called the Artist Arena. Poor Iggy looking at What's wrong, boy? I know you want to go out. We have to decide whether or not it's part of Laura's Artist Arena, or whether I do this separately. Um, she wants it to be part of her arena and uh, I, I want to support her work. So if it doesn't affect what I need to do, then absolutely, you know. Um, and even if it does affect it to some extent, I need to be flexible because, you know, I want to support her and I believe in what she does. Um, so it might become like an additional organized writers group that writers within Laura's Artist Arena, you get, and you get this, you've got to go to this once a week. This is part of the process. Because she talks about the business of managing your career, right? of setting goals, of being accountable, of moving forward. The writer versus writer or the writer's group would be about just the content, what you're actually writing, you know, uh, and critiquing from a group of people. 
Anyway, that's it. Um, I got to stop avoiding writing. It's nine thirty. I haven't written. I've got I've got the document open on my screen, but I, I got to actually write it. All right, great little nuggets. Go right.